Broadway. 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 You're finally wearing the glitter jacket. Yeah, I did. I never did wore it, it on the Since show it's before. Since our first show tonight. This is you know, our first this. show on Village Connection Network. I'm really excited. Way to go. Give me you five know, on that. We, let's do this. Yeah. yeah. Good evening. How are you guys? Heather Lee, how are you, sweetheart? We're shipping. We're I'm shipping doing great. Away. I, I had to call in because I just wanted you guys to pay extra shipping to get my shirt. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. Actually, I'm going to give them to your father and he's going to ship them to you. <laughs> oh, in that case, I'll never get it. Brought up a really good point, Darren. Happy New Year, everybody, and welcome to the Business Power Hour with Darren and the Music Man. <laughs> it sounds like somebody's in heat. That's good. How are you, Music Man this I'm, week? I'm interesting question. That's a fantastic question, Norman. Wow. See, I got a fantastic. <laughs> you just got good. I got fantastic. What kind of toy did she like? <laughs> Tell me, kid. Come on, you. He always goes there. Were you drinking before the show? Ah, what are the cardinal rules? <laughs> Two things you never do to a woman. You never say they're old, and but you I'm never say they're happy. I'm never going to see her again. What's the deal? Trust me. Are you afraid to say We both know I won't be seeing you again. You know Laura for a long time. Yes, I do. By the way, this is a Yankee uh, station. It's a Yankee Thank station. You. John, Thank it's a Yankee station. All right. Fourth extravaganza. Hell no. Hi, Eileen. Eileen's on. Hi, Eileen. <laughs> Eileen Car hi. Karina is on. Uh, yeah, oh, awesome. hi, Eileen. She Great question. We have a lot of undulations out in the, the field. Undulations. Is that a one? So, no, you, <laughs> what the hell is undulation? Fred, so, Fred, don't use big words. <laughs> John's not calling. He's chicken. You did you just call me a chicken? I called you a chicken. I did call you, you a chicken. You called me a chicken. I called you a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right? <laughs> so this <laughs> help. Okay. I, I gotta get him a cough button, Jim. What do you think? A cough because button would be a good idea. Be Consider that a good question that he has. Great there question. You go. There, there you go. go. I got, I got, I got Pythons one. and brains. I, I got, I but our own John from Hazlitt provided the confetti for the ticket tape parade. Hey, 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 sorry. This, this, yeah, I was just going to say, this show's about him. It's oh, not about you. Hey, give me some, <laughs> give me some, give me some loving. How are you, Music Man? Hello, Darren. How are you? I'm fantastic. I'm, I'm this absolutely week. convinced. I'm absolutely convinced. I'm that telling you. You got some kind of brain damage when you had that thing last I'm, year. I'm telling <laughs> you. <laughs> and he called <laughs> and I, Seeing interviews by Darren and the Music Man. Ladies and gentlemen, Darren Siafi and Norman Wasserman. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Business Power Hour with Darren and the Music Man. I being the new Music Man, uh, a.k.a. Norman Wasserman, and Dimples over here is Darren. Darren Dimples. Good evening, Music Man. How are you doing this evening? Nice to see you. It's good seeing you, too. these nice new jackets. You like this, right? Well, i got to get back to the business, the business thing and get away from the T-shirts. You know. But I hear you had a great night on Saturday night here with Abba. We killed. It was it killed it was packed so out, I it heard. Was, it was really, really good. ABBA was, I mean, I've used them before. Yeah. But they, they, were, they were really out of control uh, Saturday evening. The audience, and it wasn't a young audience. You know, I would say probably the teenager in the group was 50. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah I've um, been to your shows. That's usually the age group. Yeah, that's, that's about <laughs> it. And they would dancing and, and singing and they were trying to do the Lindy. Well, this they're one insane. Lady was trying to do the, the people at your shows are insane. I'm sorry. I've been to, to a few of your shows and they're like they standing come. on the seats and dancing in the aisles and yeah, all of that Especially when you're, oi, vey! Yeah, 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 and yeah. they have an ambulance outside just in case, Joe. Yeah. You know, so. We had two this week. We had two. And it was on did private you, property. Did yeah. you? Oh, wow. But I'm going back tomorrow. They um, had gotten in touch with me today. Mm -hmm. uh, they got a lot of nice reviews and they asked me to come in tomorrow and uh, pick some dates so we're gonna pick some dates Good. and, um, and that's it and what's up with you I was raking leaves this weekend <laughs> Spent my day Saturday uh, raking leaves, and then Saturday no, and that's night. That's circular driveway. Saturday that night you we have. were supposed to that's go to a, a lot of ones. A, my circular leaves. driveway. Stop with my circular. I don't have a circular he has driveway. The, he's got this huge it house with oh horses God, yes. and, and yeah, a circular with horses. driveway. <laughs> really, it's crazy. <laughs> hey Jim, you come override my horses? I've, I've already, I've already been there. <laughs> I, I don't want to know about that. 
<laughs> but no, I, we, we were supposed to go to a, a, a Halloween thing Saturday night, but unfortunately, uh, uh, Michelle, one of Michelle's girlfriends, ex husbands, passed away oh, that's that she knew, good. so we had to do a funeral thing on Saturday I'm night. Sorry. So yeah, that, that's it wasn't it was turned out to be not a thing. And then the rain yesterday, man, holy cow, that was something else, wasn't it? There was one. I don't it know. Was, if it was it wasn't the rain. It was o'clock. o'clock. A deluge. Yep. I don't know if you guys saw it. A deluge. It was like somebody dropped a bucket. Right. Right? It was crazy. It came, and then it was the, everything got hard. flooded. Yeah, it was it crazy. It was nuts. We it have a great, great show tonight. We have, a, we have a great show, and it's really in your bailiwick. Yeah. So it, you should be Mr. Chatter tonight. Yeah, I'm going to be Chatter tonight. Uh, <laughs> let me just tell, let me just remind Go ahead. You, those you of you it. that don't know, uh, I have been in the headhunting business for well over 30 years. Um, I just recently got back in it about four months ago after spending 32 years in the business and I got out of the business because I was completely burnt out from it. And I also wanted to spend more time doing friend entertainment and uh, helping people raising money with music because that's my love. Um, But about five months ago, I decided to go back in and coincidentally, my wife was at a trade show in New Jersey. And at the trade show was a gentleman um, who I'm going to introduce you to in a second that is the um, CEO of a job board. Now, any of you that are out there that have hired people, and if you're a a large company or a medium-sized company or even the health world or whatever it may be, you use a job board. Like, I'm not going to mention the other names, but... Starts with an I, ends in a D. So it's it's, it's kind of like a, a board, a Z like, and, like a, and, and an R. Going to a supermarket and they got the board with the jobs hanging there. And sort of like that. Kind of no. like that. No. But these guys are great at what they do, and it's so different than the job boards that are out there. Uh, they're very unique. They're very special, and I'm not going to get. I'm going to get into it as I introduce them, but um, you want to you want to stay tuned because you're going to wind up using them. And I use them. And they've been fabulous for me getting back into the business. And I I just want to introduce to you Jay Zachter, who is the president of Aploy, and the CEO, Mr. Baseball Cap himself, Adam Lewis. Adam, Jay, welcome. Welcome, Thank you. Thank you for being here this evening. How, how are you guys? Entourage that, that is sitting over yeah, there. Yeah, we got, they uh, got, no got, screaming back there. Yeah, yeah we got an entourage <laughs> with this group. That's, That's right. Say, you know, you get them. I, I feel like some of Jim's other shows. This is you, true you millennial, gotta, gotta, true millennial company. That's here, right. and this is off. You see, it's off. It's see? I see it's off. Okay. I, I, I still I don't get it. I, I got, got a broken phone. Also, in my house, my TV is that an Apple going phone? on. But like I did a clear blue sky, it's just going on. Electronics and norm just don't. I, it just I'm, doesn't work. You know, <laughs> that's it. That's it. You know, but uh, so, gentlemen, tell us about Aploy and, and how we how you guys get started. What is, what is Aploy? Aploy? Tell us what is. I'm happy you asked that because mm-hmm. the first thing I want to say is that we're actually not a job board. So um, what are you? So that's. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you? <laughs> we're starting off on the good track. There so, you go. Right? So what norm are you? got it right yeah. again. <laughs> I mean, got it wrong again. There you go. No, just uh, just so a t- important. I mean, it's uh, I, as you say, Norman. We do it, do things differently. We are a recruitment platform. Oh, okay. um, that's the new term for job board recruitment well, platform. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about us is actually, we actually s- distribute the jobs to the job boards, right? Correct. So we actually those websites that you didn't mention, but you gave some of the letters. They're great partners to us. So when yes, our clients put the jobs on our system, our system will automatically send those jobs out to those different job board partners. The candidates that will then be on those job boards, look for those jobs, and then all the applications are coming back through our system. What our system does really, really well is it makes that process for candidates to apply very easy. Could be from a cell phone, computer, tablet, right? So rather than having to go through many different stages to actually even get an application in, they can apply just with their phone with one click. The application will come back in to any of our clients, like you're definitely one of our great new clients, Um, any headhunting company, staffing company or end user company they're using our platform and what our platform will do is it will quickly speed up that process of <clears throat> tracking that candidate from applying all the way through to actually getting a job including the onboarding okay so if so so i understand because i'm not in this industry like norm <clears throat> is and, and understand like this 
So it's almost like you're the back end, and I'm gonna use, I'll use a travel site as a comparison. Like a, you know, when you go on like a Travelocity, it goes to all different sites and pulls the information in. You're kind of like that back end database that p other people are using to pull their information. So those other job boards that we were talking about before the show come to you for the data. Is that correct? Yeah, so all the jobs, we have, we, we work with many different clients mm -hmm. and all the clients will put their jobs on our system. Mm -hmm. We become their core system, right? So we can integrate into their own websites. If you go to their company's website, all their jobs will be listed there. The jobs will automatically, as you say, go mm -hmm. to all the different sites, job boards, newer websites, social media sites. And then everything, all the candidates gets funneled through our system so they can screen them, track them, communicate with them. So those web pages, those companies where you go and you see careers, right? The, and you click on careers and they have all the jobs. That's powered by us. That's powered. You guys are the back end. Can I ask you a question? Correct. Okay. Correct. Are you from Brooklyn? Born and bred in Brooklyn. Correct. Yes. I picked up that accent. Yeah. It's, it's, it's got the Brooklyn accent. Okay. You've got yeah. a Long Island accent. I've got a Brooklyn accent. <laughs> so, uh, my accent's from the Bronx. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, Bronx. A, he's a Bronx yeah. kid. The Bronx. The Bronx. Yeah. You're right. And you were from London, correct? London, correct. Originally, I've been here for eight years. And you were revolutionizing this industry. Is that also correct? We're definitely trying our best. We're definitely trying our best. Well, I'm going to start talking a little bit more about you. But first, I want to hear from Jay. Jay, sure. what do you do for the company? Uh, president of the company, and I'm here. I mean, the, the company was founded by Adam, and maybe we could talk a little bit about the, the beginnings yeah, of our company. How'd you guys meet? Go ahead. No, no. <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> we were um, after, I, I spent about uh, almost 20 years on Wall Street, and I was working in a private equity fund, and a friend of mine said, uh, you should take a meeting with Adam Lewis. Adam was looking for, for some uh, investment capital. And uh, very, very readily, I fell in love with the company, the opportunity, the, the industry, and it was, we took it from there. When I first, uh, I had reached out to Adam, uh, as I said, my wife had originally met him, and I said, mm -hmm. I think you should meet with my husband. And, I and it was really, the, it was the right timing, because I was having an issue with one of those other people. And uh, I, I put up a job posting, for, um, I think it was a mortgage broker, and I was getting cosmeticians and beauticians, everything not anywhere close to what I was looking for. So I went down, down into the city, which is a trip in itself because I don't normally go into Manhattan, and it was a really, really hot day, and I go all the way downtown, you have a couple of offices, I go all the way downtown, and I meet this gentleman who's wearing a baseball cap and a t-shirt, and I'm in a stuffy suit with a tie, mm. sweating like profusely. <laughs> I know the and feeling. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that, that's exactly probably how we first met. And he took me into a, a room, and it's a, the office is just stunning. It's your typical millennial office with bars and ping pong tables, whatever you got there. Everybody is probably just past their bar mitzvah age. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is there. And everyone seems happy. And joyous and they're working and and it was just great and we sat down and we started to talk and he said tell me about yourself and he says why are you really here I said because I got back into the headhunting business um, I got out of it and I was looking for a job and nobody wanted to hire a 70 year old guy so I said the heck with it I said I'm gonna go back into what I really really did and did well and we started talking and um, I actually presented a resume to him, as a matter of fact, not my own, it was somebody else's. And the two of you were very nice that you even wound up hiring this young mm -hmm. woman. So, and she's doing, I understand, pretty well. But it's what you, we how you- We have to give her a shout out. We have to give her a shout well, out. I, I, Ebony, are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, the artist, right? What's that, his last, her last name? Ebony Artist. Artist, right. And the way that he explained everything and the care that he took as, and ex the simplicity of how your not job board works, <clears throat> but your, your your company works for someone like myself made it so simple to post and get a great response. Now you don't know this, but I have placed three people off your job board it's great in hear. a matter of four months. I mean, I've done others, but just through your job board, three people, and not including Ebony. And it's just wonderful the way that everything is so, the simplicity for someone who doesn't have that experience to maneuver through 
everything. And from, I was a little technologically disadvantaged. Very much so. I bet, I, you know, I have other people who thank God to do it for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, so that's a great. It's a, by the way, it's a great metric. You know, we love hearing that. I mean, bottom line is we, you know, we could, you could build a company and have you know it, with a lot of promise, but listening to stories like that. But you really, know, what also made it good your customer service. Your representatives were great. They were full well, friendly, we'll, we'll, outgoing. We'll, we'll get into that. You, no, you're getting to the end. Before, I know you're excited, here. but I mean, let's slow down right. because <laughs> the show's just getting started. Oh, is that but, it? Yeah, okay. Jay. Let me ask you this, right? Sure. So you're you're a banker on Wall Street, and you know you're doing investment in companies. What made you want to say, hey, you know what? I don't want to do that anymore. I want to join this company. And, and be a part of their management team and help. A few hundred this. thousand dollars in stock options. <laughs> <laughs> a little and, bit of that. And, and, grow, and, uh, and grow this company and really do something different with my life. You know, we, you know like, 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 what, like, like you, what you said, I saw something very special. Mm -hmm. You know, what the, co the company was very, very special. And the opportunity to help companies interact with job boards all over, you know, all over the country in a very, very efficient way is something that was very, very needed. And you know the macroeconomic trends for me, uh, I saw was just trending towards the the opportunity for a ploy. Meaning more and more and more companies were looking in order to enable recruitment through better technology and to to address the candidate pool in a much more efficient way. And a ploy had it, and it nailed it, and I saw it, and I jumped on it. It well, is so good. And, that, and that's the thing. I work with a lot of you know medium to large companies and when they're doing their recruiting they're using those other websites and like he says they put in some requirements this is what I'm looking for and they get they'll say I'm looking for a bookkeeper and they get secretaries and waitresses and things like that and you're sitting there going how does they do, it doesn't even fit you know what they're looking for and what you know the ex what Norbert's coming back with is that when you put those parameters in that's what you're getting what you're looking for is what you're getting from you guys so how long did it take you and, uh, to get this going? To develop basically to develop the back it. end, which is really what, was, what spearheads your company. What was the trigger that said, you said, I got to do this? Well, <clears throat> honestly, it's quite a long story. Mm -hmm. um, and we got time. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, my experience in terms of background is predominantly being within the HR tech mm -hmm. world. So I know the HR landscape pretty well, the technologies that are out there. And initially, five years ago, um, I did set off to be a job board. So we actually set off to the company to be a job board. And the key difference with um, where we are today is that we actually don't do anything on the candidate side ourselves, right? So we have no desire to um, market to job seekers. Mm -hmm. We license software to companies and then we build these integrations. What I saw very quickly is that there's actually a lot of companies that do that very well many many companies that are really spending a lot of marketing budgets and doing a great job at communicating with the candidates attracting them acquiring them but where there was a big opportunity and Norman you really gave me just you, you hit you took the words out of my mouth is that a lot of these HR systems are very old school right so a lot of these big companies are using very very large HR systems to manage kind of what we're doing and mm -hmm. kind of like a, a cheesy analogy is that we've we basically become like the iPhone for you know for these old systems right if you think about it the iPhone's got a beautiful user experience. You can be any age, pick up the phone, know how to use it. Norman's yeah. also, I can see Norman's got a nice <laughs> iPhone over there. Right, so that, that's what we want to do. We want to make it simple and easy, mm -hmm. and we, we focus on a mobile-centric user as well. Right, Most of the job seekers and recruiters who are using our system day in, day out are running around, right? Recruiting is just one of the things that they're doing. In fact, staffing companies and headhunting companies are only a very small portion of our client base. Most of our client base are large companies that are doing high volume recruiting themselves. Right. And the people that are managing the system day in, day out are not just sitting as a recruiter. So recruiting is just a small part of what you guys are doing. No, no, it's all recruiting, but we actually license the software to companies. And right. Rather than going through head on the companies, mm -hmm. we'll go direct to the companies. A lot of our companies are hiring hundreds of people the whole time themselves. So and they're company, national and they're firms. Doing, yeah, they're doing it themselves. National, right. So if a company wants to get a hold of you guys, Right, and, and find out more about your technology and how can it help help them. How do they get in touch with you? Besides watching the show? Mm -hmm. Besides watching <laughs> the show. Uh, the, I mean, the best way to get in touch is looking at our website. It's apploy.com, A-P-P-L-O-Y.com. Um, 
you can see all the information there and uh, get in touch with us from that okay, website. Okay, so right, or you, or you can email you at info at employ.com or 646-974-8440. Yep. So when we come back, we're gonna get a little more detail about the technology and the different ways that you can utilize it. Can I talk when, when we come back? We can come I'm back and you can there. jump in there, my I got friend. Spookies, you know well, I told you, you're gonna be a chatterbox tonight. Yeah. So you, you know you haven't jumped in. So but how do gonna, other people become a chatterbox? Well, how do they call in? That's the thing, here? so they gotta call in tonight. Yeah. I'm gonna give the number tonight. Go do it. Six 631-415-1365. The phone lines are going to be open when we come back from commercial. We'll be right back after these messages from our sponsors. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Doug Cormack, Executive Director of Orchard Estate of Woodbury, Woodbury's first assisted living and memory care community. We're opening this summer for seniors who need a little or a lot of assistance with things like taking their medication, meals, or just a maintenance-free lifestyle. Our experienced staff keeps seniors and their families connected to what matters most. Call us today to inquire about our model apartments and discover how Orchard Estate of Woodbury is providing the lifestyle Long Island seniors deserve. Call 516-246-2167. That's 516-246-2167. Or visit orchardestatewoodbury.com. Licensure pending. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Friend Entertainment USA. My name is Norman Wasserman. I am also known as the Music Man. Let me just tell you a little bit about Friend Entertainment. We put on concerts for charities, and we do that everywhere from New York to Las Vegas. We do R&B, Motown, rock and roll, jazz, whatever it is that you wish, Friend Entertainment will deliver the best of the best for you and your charity. Here are some of the names of the talent that have performed with us on our stage. Stevie Wonder, Tina Turner, The Temptations, Earth, Wind & Fire, the one and only ELO, Elton John himself, Cool in the Gang, and the fabulous Donna Summer. Go to our website friendentusa.com that's www.friendentusa.com or feel free to call us at 631-698-9696 631-698-9696 and we'll see you at the next show small business owners are you having trouble growing your business do you feel like you're always swimming upstream do you feel like daily tension that I can't get ahead and I don't know why? Hi everybody, my name is Darren Sayafi and I'm a business therapist. What's a business therapist? Well, some people call us coaches, some people call us advisors, other people even call us strategists. We take a vested interest in you and your personal development as a person and as a business owner to give you the tools and structure that you need to take it to that next level. So don't wait. Give me a call today for your free consultation and let me show you how you can help yourself. Welcome back to the Business Power Hour with Darren and the Music Man and our guests Jay Zachter and Adam Lewis of Aploy. That's not a job board, but kind of like is a job board, so we're not... Okay, you want to explain that again? What the heck does Aploy do? Go ahead, please. Say go for it. No. <laughs> it's a back-end... Aploy is a recruitment platform right. that will manage the entire recruitment cycle, mm -hmm. from finding the candidates by integrating with many different job sites, job boards, social media sites, taking all the candidates. Like, if you think about it, getting a bunch of resumes in an inbox or kind of logging into kind of individual platforms to look at resumes is really, really inefficient. It takes a long time and as has been said, it's very hard to kind of quickly identify who the qualified candidates are. What our system will do is just make that whole process so much easier. So all your candidates are coming into one centralized platform. You can quickly add screening questions. You can identify who's qualified. You can track them through your customized process from being new all the way through to hired email them quickly, text message them, all through the platforms. All your communication is tracked via the system. Um, and then even send them documentation to hire them. So your online, your onboarding documentation, your I-9s, your W4, W4s, offer letters, um, handbooks, and then have all the analytics now, so you can track everything. Now, sending the documentations, is that managed through secured, like, uh, DocuSign and, and things yeah, like that. Yeah, so we it? actually use a uh, third party called um, HalloSign, okay. um, which we're completely integrated with. It's very secure. And I signed that as well. Correct. So 
I'm a company. I'm one of the listeners that are out there, and I'm an officer of a company or a senior member, or I may be in the HR department. And I've been kind of like, okay with the others, whatever, but I'd like to find out what you're all about. But besides the um, apploy.com and the phone number, I'm actual person who uses your system. I'm an actual person who doesn't have much of an IT background. I'm mostly a salesperson. But it was so simple and so easy. Can you explain to the listening audience the simplistic ism of <laughs> what it's like? Is. It's a new word. Yeah, we it's just, a, you, like, you like it? I like that. That's good. <laughs> of what they do in order to sign up. You go through your documentation on the, on the internet. You have your um, profile that pe- you could watch. Explain to everybody. Yeah, I mean, so to make it very, very simple, really our platform does four things, right? So just to kind of really clarify, then I'll come back to your question. The first thing is it will take care of all your recruitment marketing. It will send your jobs across the internet to your websites, to all the job boards. You have an online application, which can be done from any device, any computer. An applicant will easily complete it, often with just, just one click. You've got a full back-end system to manage the candidates through your process, track them, communicate with them, score them, screen them, and then you've got the full onboarding. So they're the four different pieces to our system. As I mentioned before, we've built this system, and, and Norman, you've really uh, given us great credit there, so that anybody can use it. Right? If you think about HR systems, you think about clunky, um, heavy systems with large implementations, a lot of training needed, with our system, we like to kind of get it up and running, often within just a couple of weeks, even sooner, that anybody, whatever role you have in your organization, if you need to hire, you should be able to use the system very, very easily. So, so uh, just so I better understand what's going on, because Norman uses your system. So if I have a job posting, say I'm looking for a bookkeeper, we'll use, we'll use that example. So I post up there, bookkeeper, and then I get a flood of resumes in. If I have multiple job postings, is it sorting the resumes by the job posting that I put up? So I can go into, you know, almost like a project type of yeah, exactly. situation <laughs> where it's, okay, bookkeepers, here are all the people that applied mm-hmm. for bookkeeper. And then I can pin down, want them, don't want them, Correct. want them. You're and familiar then, with the CRM, right? Right, Sales yeah. CRM. So we're, think of us That's as, what as I was a getting CRM at. Mm-hmm. for candidates, right? right? So rather than managing your, your leads, your prospects, mm-hmm. this is a very simple way to keep organized of all your candidates. I want to see how many candidates I get for my bookkeeping position, how many candidates that I get for my um, operations position. And I'm also, say you've got 50 candidates, Mm -hmm. it's very hard to stay organized and get that competitive advantage. I want to see how many have I emailed, how many have I texted, how many are coming for interview. You can even schedule the interviews directly through our system. We have a calendar interview. What stage they're at. What stage they're at. Interview one, interview two, interview three. Right, finalist, you know, good candidate, bad candidate. Exactly, you know, Norman, you were asking, like, what, what, if somebody's interested, what should they do? What's the next step? And one of the things that I think is truly remarkable about Aploy is, at, with, without any exaggeration, a 20, 25 minute demo of what, what's, our, what's our success rate on, on demos. I mean, somebody who's interested in learning about a, a, a fantastic recruiting platform, they listen to a 20, 25 minute demo. I think it's beyond exaggerating, not, not exaggerating, about 90%. 90 plus percent will 90 sign, plus up, from percent will sign wow. up from a demo. See, I got, I got a great new tagline for you guys. So easy, Norman can use it. <laughs> <laughs> right? If the music man can do it, anyone can do it. <laughs> Anyone who's hiring should definitely go and look at the platform. Jay's right, a 20, 25 minute demo. Once you post your job, <clears throat> Right. The procedure is a couple, it doesn't go up instantly, it takes a couple of hours till mm-hmm. it all gets situated. Mm-hmm. And then you'll start to receive not 100 or 200 or 300 resumes, you're going to get a certain amount of resumes. Well, those those other, those you're other going to be able to as you go through resumes. them. Yeah. But like I said before, they're all garbage. Well, most of them are. Well, not all of these are, are, are right on either. Mm-hmm. But a majority of them are really, really close where you can take the ones that aren't close and archive them. You can take them out of the system, they get archived, they're gone. So if you had 50, you now might have 35. Okay, so it, and that's a great lead in. Let me ask you this question. If I now get 50 candidates for this position and I say, you know what, I'm going to trim this down to 10, those other 40, do they just disappear off my system? If you choose to make it, them disappear. Well, 
do they just dis or is there a way for me to kind of put them in a file cabinet? Yeah, yeah right. Exactly. So uh, you know, when I first started, you know, thirty plus years ago, when we put out for a job, we'd get the paper. You know, the the mm -hmm. quick way to get a resume was a fax machine, right? right? <laughs> so, but more times than not, they were you know printed on really nice paper, and you got them in the mail, and you put them in a stack, and then you said, okay, I want you know, and you said, okay, these are the the really good candidates, these are the okay candidates, these are the ones we're not even gonna bother with, and you would throw those out. But some of the okay candidates you would keep in a file where if that one person you hired didn't work out, I can go now, go back That's to the, the other That's the beauty of our system. So I mean, first of all, Norman is using our terminology, which means Emma, who is your customer success manager, has done a great job. We have mm -hmm. an archive folder. So if someone absolutely, you know, you don't want them now, you can actually move them out of your main system, mm -hmm. but they're there, right? Which we'll come right. back to in a minute. But we also have, what a lot of our clients will do, is we have these things called states. So if you think about that CRM thing, where you're moving them through these different right. states, a lot of our clients will have a customized state, which is safe for later. Mm -hmm. So maybe right now that's not hitting it exactly, but you want to keep them in your main flow. And then through our system, you can actually email or text them all in bulk, right? So if right. you want to go to all the ones that you want to keep for later, and now you're getting into a really busy season. Maybe you're in a very um, you know, seasonal type mm -hmm. business where suddenly actually I need to hire up 20, 30 people very quickly. Right. You can quickly search for those people, email them all at once, text them all at once, and bring them all straight in for an so, interview. Okay, so there's, there's bulk email, there's bulk, bulk email, texting. Bulk text, mm -hmm. templated. So templated and, mm -hmm. and things like yeah, you that. You have the opportunity, and Jay, you and I had worked on this. <clears throat> um, I have a, an accounting firm that is looking for people with public accounting experience, mm -hmm. you know that. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have multiple jobs with them and I was having a problem through the other source in order to get these people. And we sat and w we talked and I got a lot of resumes and a lot of them didn't exactly fit, but these were good applicants. Right. Right. So I would print out these resumes and I set up, I have a, a, an old school file <laughs> and I have them archived as well so I know where to go back. You know, I, I, if I'm looking for a real estate accountant and I'm getting a really good banking accountant, and I know that eventually I'm gonna have a banking job, I have this resume So you can, you can tag them in the system <coughs> exactly. as this is a, a banking account, and you can customize it. And you can print it out too, and you can and do it. We, we affectionately call it our, our My Talent Pool. Okay. Right? So we have, after a while, you use a, you use a ploy, a few months into it, you're really building up your asset. Your asset are, the, are your database of resumes and candidates that you could always tap into. You could always search on them. And you could bubble up the ones that are going to be most relevant for what you know what you need right then. So, what kind of feedback are you getting from your clients that are utilizing this on a smaller scale? And I'm not I'm talking about the large clients that you got that are that are interviewing, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 people, but those those clients that say you know are posting two or three jobs a month I mean do you have clients they like that? They can post three two or three jobs a, a day yeah, or but a week. I, I, I want to want to want to see what kind of you know the metrics if sure. you if you have them you know what size clients are really you servicing at this particular point? You know I'll just give you one anecdote from this morning I had breakfast this morning with somebody uh, a solo practitioner law firm basically mm -hmm. I think there might be two two lawyers in the firm okay uh, he posted a job uh, he told me today that they made the hire they were so appreciative of what an employee could do for them um, and it's something that it like 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 you mentioned beforehand it was so simple to use he's a lawyer he's a solo right. practitioner and he doesn't have time. he's not an HR executive right. he doesn't know HR he he and posted he the job. And he probably doesn't practice that law either. Right, and yeah. he, right. It does exactly. He got right. his candidate. He he got he got a fantastic candidate. Mm -hmm. He they um, they interviewed, and he's extremely extremely happy. That's this morning. Uh, we have stories like this. You every guys cost day. me money. I'm a headhunter. Right. <laughs> you take if I introduce a client to you and they use your services, they're not using mine. What does that mean to you? <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? But Look at this. I got, there is going to be, if everything works out, I just got accepted. I got voted into uh, a pretty prestigious networking group. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. The <laughs> lawyers in the group are 200 in this firm where these meetings are held. The partner, one of the senior partners of the law firm, runs the networking group. Now, I'm going there on Tuesday as their recruiting partner. And I have to talk about you. Amazing. And I am going to talk about you. 
because I'll still get business anyway from the rounding from the people that are involved in the group, and there are about thirty or thirty-five professional people that are there. It, it's a very prof it's at a networking groups that we attend. This is probably one of the ones that are very professional and very it's professional. more in line with what you guys do and what we do than what most networking groups are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Network most networking groups are these, you know, sole practitioners. It's not a social event. Like that. We actually we these have coffee large, and breakfast, but right. but it's large firms. It's business it's, people. Yeah, it's people that are doing terrific. Doing terrific. Business. Thank you. You know, so yeah. I mean, you know, what, what I just wanted to add. You know, I mentioned the solar practitioner, which was kind of aberrant. I mean, I mean, most of our clients, I would say, ninety-five to ninety-nine percent of our clients, are not this smaller. Um, but it works for the smaller clients it, it, too. It, there, I thought it was I, exciting to hear that for for a size that small, a ploy was fantastic. Well, well I'm, here's, I'm here's, one person. I'm right. I'm the other side. I'm not the company doing the hiring, I'm the one sending it to you. And it's it's wonderful. Here's the thing that excited me about what you guys were saying before. Because I'm a systems guy, right? And I like to package things and simplify things and, and stuff like that. When I work with my clients, that's a big part of what we do is simplifying their processes. And if I can go into a system, find a candidate, and then send them all the required paperwork that they have to fill out without me sitting there going, Okay, I gotta grab a W four. I gotta grab a nine nine. I gotta grab you know all of these different things, you know, and shoot it to them, have them fill them out, and get it back to me, and it's all secured. That that saves me so much time. It's unreal. I mean, from a metrics point of view, we've seen for some clients we reduce the time to hire from over two weeks to two days. Wow. And that, that's through the whole system. <clears throat> you know, a lot of our clients, um, you know, we, we, we have a lot of high volume clients, right? right? Clients who are hiring candidates a lot of the time. So a lot of healthcare organizations, retail mm -hmm. organizations that are constantly hiring. And for them, it's such a competitive market where unemployment is today, as you know, as you know very right. well, it's very, very tough to get just to fill the jobs, right? They're hiring so many people and it's very hard, you know, because of so much competition. So by putting in a system like ours, where you can kind of get back to someone when you don't have to always be by your computer, right? Because our system's automating that workflow, as soon as a resume comes in, one of the most, the biggest upsets of a, that Canada has is I never even hear back from the company. Right. Right. So to know that our system within an hour is sending you a nice email back, it's asking you to kind of put in more information, it's then sending you the calendar invite, it's sending you the documents, it's sending you a text message. So it does everything. It pretty much just automates the scheduling automates process, the whole and, process. And, and all of that I stuff. take it a step more. I know what it's like not to get a phone call when you're expecting one especially when you're kind of pressed and looking for a job or something similar to that, whatever. I actually call, don't even send an email. I actually call the applicants myself and say, by the way, I got you, all right? Mm -hmm. I've seen your resume, I'm gonna prepare it, we're gonna go send it out, I got you. One thing we didn't talk about yet today, which is very important to uh, a large company, a small company, independent person, is cost. The cost that you have is ridiculous, all right, as compared to what I've paid in the past, and especially based upon the results. When I got my first invoice from you, I said, is this it? I actually called Emma, and I said, is this correct? You got a very special deal, Norman. Okay. <laughs> you shouldn't have said that. You're just no, no, I want to, no, no, we, you. get this, we get this a lot, and you could tell, you know, and and it's the it's the it's the very nature of the company at employ. Mm -hmm. Many many clients will tell us, "You're not charging us enough," right? And we take that as pro we wear that as a as a as a Great medal of pride, right? Because we want to do the most we can for our clients, and you know we we like having clients tell us that they, that you know, you could charge us more. We have clients that you could charge us double. We can count on our fingers. I mean, at this point, we have hundreds thousands of clients using our product. Um, we, I think we can count on one hand the number of clients that we've lost over the last few years since we've started. So every, pretty much, the, the, and he's raving about the, the customer service and that. No, let me, With, just, let me interrupt you one second. Okay. And it's not because you're sitting here. I've been talking to him offline mm -hmm. about your services because I'm so impressed with what you do. Well, actually, the conference where I met your wife, and I'm not, this is, this is completely true. I mean, I had several people run up to me, clients of ours run up to us and give us hugs about how amazing this has helped their company. And one man actually said, this is the best thing since sliced bread. 
So that's so see that's that's did great. You get a hug from him too. <laughs> I think it's the handshake. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. So if they want to get a hold of you guys, how do they do that? I'd say certainly most important, visit our website mm-hmm. at www.aploy.com, a p p l o i dot com. Um, there's a nice little video on the site. Yeah, watch it. Where it's a it's a very very cute am- animation. It really sums up exactly what we do. And then just click over there, you know, follow up for some more, you know, information and somebody will certainly reach out. All right, great. So when we come back, we're going to dig into a little more of the functionality because I got some as a, an accountant, I'm, you know, right away things are going to my head. Do you do this? Do you do that? No invoicing out of it. We're, we're going <laughs> to we're going to get into some of the uh, a little more functionality on that and some of the other things that are coming up. So uh, you got anything else to say? My no, friend? not yet. All right. Let's so the commercial. we'll be right back after these messages. Hi, this is Doug Cormack, Executive Director of Orchard Estate of Woodbury, Woodbury's first assisted living and memory care community. We're opening this summer for seniors who need a little or a lot of assistance with things like taking their medication, meals, or just a maintenance-free lifestyle. Our experienced staff keep seniors and their families connected to what matters most. Call us today to inquire about our model apartments and discover how Orchard Estate of Woodbury is providing the lifestyle Long Island seniors deserve. Call 516-246-2167. That's 516-246-2167. Or visit orchardestatewoodbury.com. License your pending. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Friend Entertainment USA. My name is Norman Wasserman. I am also known as the Music Man. Let me just tell you a little bit about Friend Entertainment. We put on concerts for charities, and we do that at everywhere from New York to Las Vegas. We do R&B, Motown, rock and roll, jazz, whatever it is that you wish, Friend Entertainment will deliver the best of the best for you and your charity. Here are some of the names of the talent that have performed with us on our stage. Stevie Wonder, Tina Turner, The Temptations, Earth, Wind & Fire, the one and only ELO, Elton John himself, Cool and the Gang, and the fabulous Donna Summer. Go to our website friendentusa.com that's www.friendentusa.com or feel free to call us at 631-698-9696 631-698-9696 and we'll see you at the next show small business owners are you having trouble growing your business do you feel like you're always swimming upstream do you feel like daily tension that I can't get ahead and I don't know why. Hi everybody, my name is Darren Sayafi and I'm a business therapist. What's a business therapist? Well, some people call us coaches, some people call us advisors, other people even call us strategists. We take a vested interest in you and your personal development as a person and as a business owner to give you the tools and structure that you need to take it to that next level. So don't wait. Give me a call today for your free consultation and let me show you how you can help yourself. Okay, hi. (laughs) Welcome back to the Business Pal Hour with Darren and the Music Man and our guest from Aploy. Uh, Jay and uh, Adam, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. So before the break, we were talking about some of the functionality of your product and your platform. So my question, as an, as an accountant, you know, I'm the accountant that comes in, I provide CFO controller services. So HR is always mm-hmm. kind of under my uh, area that I have to oversee. One of the things that we're required to do is to keep all of their files updated on an annual basis you know, re- refresh their W-4s, mm-hmm. you know, refresh their I-9s, making sure, especially those people that have green cards or working cards and things like that, that we have to keep on top of. Can we do that with your system? Yeah, actually, I mean, <clears throat> I remember going into one of our clients' offices uh, not mm-hmm. so long ago with Jay, and the HR department had a you know decent-sized office, just with filing cabinets and papers all over the yeah. place, and, you know, it was like, wow, how are they finding anything in this jungle? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what we do really well is that it's it's very nicely organized, right? Mm-hmm. So number one, for that onboarding documentation, lose paper, right? Because we all know 
two days after the paper's gone, we'd have got no clue where it is, it's scrunched up somewhere. We, dig, the digital way is the way to go to stay organized. And I mm -hmm. think as an accountant, you'll appreciate that. Yes. Um, because, you know, it, it is hard. I mean, you know, to, to kind of stay on top of a lot of different documentation and, and have it at your fingertips. The beauty of our platform is that it's all cloud-based. So if you're at home, if you're at the office, you've got access to well, it. That's the key, right? Like a lot of times now you see with all, especially these online cloud-based accounting systems that we're using. And what I tell my clients is the cloud-based is the way to go because you can be anywhere. Right. And it do, you don't have to have, it used to be, you had to have, you take you, you had to take your laptop home with you from mm -hmm. work every day. You don't have to do that anymore. Most people can do it right from their phone at this particular point. And yeah, I mean, one of our, one of our uh, clients actually has a terrific video on our homepage. She gave a, trem a tremendous uh, case study for a ploy. Mm -hmm. And she said one of the things she loves about a ploy <clears throat> is that she was on vacation for a couple of weeks and there's a couple of candidates that she was very, kind of towards the end of the process in hiring. Mm -hmm. And fr from her phone, she was text messaging them through our system and actually onboarded them. So, you know, number one, <clears throat> just staying, on, staying organized, having access anywhere, anytime. But as you mentioned in your original question, a lot of these companies, you know, we deal with a, a various different industries. They actually have to stay on top of this documentation annual basis. Mm -hmm. So what we've set up for them is that when they hire someone, they can go into a separate place within our system and then every year they can then resend them the documentation and you know signing this documentation takes 20 seconds once it, once the signature is digitally inputted into the right places the system will put it into all the right places it will actually take information out of our system that we already have your name your address yeah they did it was amazing so it's just populated. It's, it's like having a separate file file cabinet Right, we're talking about but you, you go in yeah. and you see all the paper all over the place and you have these file cabinets with all these HR files in there for each employee. I mean, these some companies, you know, these files were, were huge. So what you're saying is that in your system, you got this separate file cabinet where you got existing employees that you can keep this information updated. You can do that, yeah. So if, if I took on your system for my company and I wanted to upload my existing employees into that area, can I do that? Yeah, or so, is it just for new people, new hires? No, as part of our implementation, we can actually upload existing candidates, existing employees. You know, a lot of our, a lot of the companies that we're actually on board will until now been using kind of what I call more of the legacy HR systems. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, they have thousands, hundreds of thousands of, of resumes and employees. And so we make that process very easy. We'll import them all, we'll import all their jobs. And actually, hopefully Norman, you'll, you'll agree that our onboarding process is when, when from the minute you log in, everything is set up for you, right? We don't want you to kind of have to kind of try and figure it out, even though it is easy, easy to use. We'll do a training, which often just takes 30 minutes online with one of our customer success managers. And from that moment, all your jobs are there, every, all your, your question templates, your email templates, text templates, it so you're ready to go. It takes five minutes at best. So let me well, you, you're, post, ahead, you're ahead of the you're ahead To of the post pack. a new job. Right. right. I mean, let's say you're all, all I mean, if. It, just five minutes. That's it. it didn't, all the information's there. All right. So the beauty, gonna... I just want to tell you the beauty uh, of a ploy is some of our our strongest compliments come not from the HR executives, not from HR people, people who are store managers, people who their function is not recruiting, right. but it, it lands on their plate. This is like spoon fed recruiting. It's and basically that, and all the tools. Yeah. So if, I, if you know, I'm going to go from the perspective of being the client now, right? Okay, I'm, I'm approaching you guys about a ploy and I want to bring a ploy in. But I have specific terminology that I use. I have specific you know, categories that I put my recruits into, things like that. How hard it is to, is to customize your system so it really fits my needs so I don't have to change the way I talk or I think. It's completely customizable. <clears throat> so it's and completely. And yeah, I mean, the beauty of it is that it's, it's easy, it's easy plug and play, mm -hmm. right? Every single one of our companies has different steps, has different questions, has different job templates, different. But the so what's the typical setup time for all of that stuff? Because obviously. Two weeks max. Two weeks, okay. Max. All right. I mean, for a small company, it, it could be much less. Hours, right? I don't want, you know, I don't want my uh, customer success team to kind of freak out, <laughs> but it, 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 it's not, it's not a long process. Um, you know, we, we were onboarding huge companies within, within a couple of weeks, a month. So for a small company, it's a matter You actually were doing yourself a, a disservice when you and I first met, because when I came in there, uh, most of your clientele were things that I don't do. And we were talking about, because I'm mostly business, you know, mm -hmm. I'm in that accounting, finance, banking, sales, marketing area, 
and you didn't do too much of that. I had no problem. With, there was no problem at all because the, your reach that you have when you post to all these other po is phenomenal. You know, it's very exciting because I mean, it happens qu almost weekly. We're in conversation and in this day and age, everybody has problems recruiting. It is very, very hard to attract good talent. And, you know, every week another industry pops up. I, I, was, I was talking to principals, mm -hmm. right? And it turns out that with quick survey amongst principals around the country, recruiting teachers and security guards and right. IT people is extremely difficult. We launched, you know, our education, we, we launched in, in, in school systems. And uh, it's, we're getting, you know, we're, 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 we're getting so many compliments from principals. It's not their day job. You know, recruiting talent, it's extremely important. Getting the right teachers in front of, in front of the classroom is, is what makes well, the school. Uh, but that's not their job. Their uh, job is not to, not to hire, not to recruit teachers. Unless you're an HR person, really, your recruiting is not your job. Right. Right? If you're a manager in, in most medium to small, you know, small to medium sized companies, don't have a dedicated HR person. It's usually, you go to your boss and say, I need to hire somebody. And they say, go ahead, go find somebody. And let me know what they're good, and then I'll interview them after you. You know, we get the sign off on you, or right. they interview them, and they say, "Yeah, I like this candidate." You interview the candidate and sign off. So you got all these people who are number one not used to doing interviews. No one, and you, you know, know, one other us. feature that we have in our platform, which is very popular on that, <coughs> is <coughs> excuse me, is video uh, responses. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if you've checked it out yet, Norman, but uh, a lot of our clients really like this. That if you actually do want to kind of see the personality and passion of someone without mm -hmm. having to invite every for everybody for an interview, through the screening questions, you can use one of our video response questions. Mm. So you can say to you, give me two reasons why you're interested in this job. And as they're applying on their phone, the video will kick in and they actually respond to that. And then the hiring manager in their own time That's can nice. actually view the person's yeah. live. You don't see a black and white resume, right. but actually see how does this person communicate? Are they the right, do they have the right uh, kind of passion for what so I'm So you're trying. actually cutting down the interview time because Correct. you're given, you know, tools tools for the people to say, hey, you know what, for this particular question, I want to see, I want you to trigger the video so I can see what their reaction is and, and responding. My to wife it. was in the right place at the right time when she found you. I had never heard, and I'm in the business, I had never heard of your company. Uh, now I speak very highly of your firm to whomever, but do you plan on doing an advertising program to get a ploy out there? You know, a lot of your competition. Well, we're here, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, but you have to come back every month. I, I, I'll tell you, here, here's, our, here's our, our, our marketing philosophy. Our, and, and it's, our marketing philosophy is the following. All the money that big companies would put into a marketing budget to market their company, we believe firmly, take that money and, and put it into our product. Put, build the best product that we can build for our clients. But you still got to get that product and in front then of people's faces. Hope for our, hope that our clients will be our best market. You know, resources. you got to put a commercial together saying how easy it is and use Norm to do that. No, one hundred percent. I even you got a guy to do it for you. No yeah, joke. No I mean, joke. we we yeah, really we got, do. We got, yeah, Chris is a good kid. We have a perfect. Uh, he, he does a good man job to that. do that. But that. That's beside the point. That's all the camera <laughs> stuff that we could talk about. So, uh, again, and we're getting down to time here where it's, it's almost over. We're almost through this thing. If you had to, and let me ask you this, Adam, because you started this whole thing. This was your brainchild. This is something, you know, this is your baby, right? Mm -hmm. if, you had, <coughs> if you had to My change. My other baby's over there. So. That's it. Yeah. We, we <laughs> hey, Harry. Right. Hello. So, uh, if you had to change anything about a ploy and how you set it up, and the, the, the journey you've gone through up to this point, is there anything that you would change to get you there quicker? Or, oh, yeah. You know? I mean, I haven't, the journey has definitely been a rocky road. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, where we are today is, is taking a lot, a lot of effort, a lot of hours, a lot of emotional effort. You know, as I said, when we started, we had a very different strategy and kind of pivoting the business from one strategy to another trying to kind of like focus on what's called the product market fit, working exactly how we're going to uh, bring this and penetrate the market. That was, 
you know, of several years of, uh, of extremely hard work. So and your initial target market, when you first came into this and said, this is our target market, is it different today than it was when you first came in? So the actual industries are very similar, <clears throat> pretty much, but the focus of the product was different. And it took, it took a long time with a lot of heartache and a lot of you know, very, very tough times to really kind of reposition that product to where it is today. And, and I think Jay's right. I think what we've learned in that process is really for us, it's just staying very close to our customers, hearing what's happening in the industry, what they like, what they don't like, and being very responsive. And so if you look at our team today, the smallest team in our company is actually sales. The two biggest teams is one is product and tech, obviously to build the product, mm -hmm. sure. and the other is customer success. Because we really, really believe, and Jay's correct, and it's panning out well, thank God, is that um, the better that we enhance the product, the more that effort and investment and, and hours we put into the product and listening and being in very close with our customers, the, the better business we're gonna have. You also have constant focus groups that are going on. Mm -hmm. I know, because I responded you know, to one of them. Yeah. I wanted to know if you wanted an old man's approach to the, the head kind of took your, took your approach and business. put it through. So. I didn't get a, I didn't well, get a call. We, we love can't suggest events, fax machines. Fax <laughs> machines are gone. No. When I was in they the business, there anymore. were no fax machines. <laughs> we used delivery <laughs> service, messengers. <laughs> so when I first got in. But, so. you know, it, the reason why I asked that, because yeah. again, you know, I, I do the business coaching and, I, and a lot of the clients that I work with, they think that they come up with an idea and boom, it just goes. And it's an easy thing. And it's always a road, it's always a journey, there's always obstacles. And I tell them all the same thing. It's gonna take you time to get to where, to figure out who you are. And obviously, just by what you're saying, it, kind of, <coughs> it took a while for a ploy to figure out who they are, and now you got a nice little niche going. You got where you're going. And you're always evolving, because you're, mm -hmm. you're starting to do other things with it too, right? You got that good foundation now, and you're starting to really you know, branch it out into these other industries and that. Is there one specific industry that you guys are, this is our industry and we're top notch in here or are you kind of going across the board industry wise? I mean, <clears throat> I think within the healthcare industry, um, we're pretty very we're well known at this point. You know, we have- uh, Is that where you started out, healthcare? No, we actually started uh, predominantly in retail. Uh, retail and hospitality, which we okay. still have a nice amount of clients. But within, within healthcare, we hit the market at a good time. Um, you know, we have uh, you know, well over, uh, probably nearly 2,000 healthcare facilities using wow. the products. It just triggered something for me. I met a, a lady on Friday, this past Friday, whose husband just became the senior general, general manager of a major, 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 major a hospitality industry company in Manhattan, mm. and I'm supposed to be having a meeting with him within the next couple of weeks. Great. Hopefully he's watching the show tonight. Say not, right. It's not, not so great. We gotta talk, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then we make it great. <laughs> but you know, I'll do anything I can for you guys. You no, really, thank you. So you guys are thank terrific. You. So thank guys, you. we are out of time. So one more time, somebody wants to get a hold of you guys, how do they do it? Before you do that, do you have any place you're going to be, any lectures that you guys are giving? Any trade any shows? Any trade shows, anything coming up? We, we, we're all over the place. The, be, the, best, the best way to get hold of us is going to our website because that's 24-7. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll, we'll make it work. Demos, yeah, you do call late at night and send emails because I've received some of them. Yeah, I mean, in the day I'm doing things like this. So I'm not going to do some work. You know? <laughs> Adam does not sleep. He's, uh, Adam, if he gets an hour of sleep a night. He's I a true entre his, uh, entrepreneur. It's, yes, it's in is. his blood. It's in his blood. So besides 646-974-8440, how else do they reach I you? would definitely not recommend the phone number, the email, info at .com, and the website. We actually, to your credit, Norman, Ebony, who uh, you introduced us to, she set up a beautiful little bot on our website. So actually, so everyone should go to employ.com and chat with our bot, which is powered, which was set up by Ebony. So if you do that, the bot will get you to us and we'll sort and it was someone that Norman had recommended for a job so that I didn't even know existed. So there it goes. So there we go. Well, we want to thank you, gentlemen, for being thank on the you. show tonight. Really thank you. Thank really you. Really thank wish you. Thank you. Larry, good, good luck to you, Larry. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. All right. So All right, what are you so doing this week? This week, uh, not much. Well, Wednesday night, Sassy's going to be on. Yeah. All right. So anybody you know who has anybody in their family afflicted with autism or anything like, it's our Give Back Wednesday night. Please tune in. You're going to see a great show. 
and my friend Priscilla on. And yeah, uh, Priscilla is a terrific yeah, lady. She's, um, she's a great. Started lady. this organization, mm -hmm. and in a matter of what's it, two years? Yeah, thousands, two, almost, two and a half years, almost, almost of, three years uh, now. Yeah, people associated. Yeah, she's know, done a great her. job with that, and uh, we're looking forward to having her on on Wednesday mm -hmm. night. So. Saturday night, I'm going to be at the Argyle in West Babylon with uh, our Donna Summer Show, and the week after that on November 9th, uh, the day before my birthday, uh, we're going to be at the Crescent Beach Club. Okay. Mm, we got to bring in the cake, Jim? Oh, yeah, we'll yeah. be okay. <laughs> uh, We will be there with our um, Neil Diamond dinner show, and that's what's coming up in the next couple of weeks, and I guess we'll see everybody on Wednesday night. Right, everybody have a, have a good two days, and we'll see you Wednesday. Good, good night, night everybody. everybody. Thanks for tuning in.